Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Messerman with the fourth quarter flipped classroom pot vodcast. Target number three I can observe and describe stream deposition. Okay, once again, I've got some scenes from the Clark Fork in Hellgate Canyon. Now, look at this sand you've got here. So, the question you have to ask is why is all this sand deposited? right here. It's actually a big sandbar at the mouth of a channel that carries water during high water in the spring. Well, you know, you gotta look at it. There's a big tree and a log jam here. So why would it pile up just downstream of this log jam? Remember that deposition is all about energy. Here, the sand is filling this channel behind this log jam. Or, look at this little pile of sand just behind this rock. Okay, All this has to do with energy and the water slowing down from these obstacles in the river. When you look at this snapshot of the Bitterroot, look where all the sandbars are. They're all on the insides of these meanders where the water moves slowly. All right, let's take a look. Let's start with energy and the size of particles. Kind of combine those two this time. What about coarse grain particles? You know, boulders, cobbles, sand. Well, actually pebbles, not sand. Coarse sediments only move in a high energy environment. That's the erosion part, right? They can only be eroded by high energy. Therefore, they get deposited when the energy subsides, when the water slows down. Okay? This can happen in fast river channels. It can happen at beaches due to wave action. All right, what about the uh, medium material? That would be the sand. Where does sand get deposited? Well, it, it gets moved in the medium energy environment, and as soon as that energy slows down, the sand gets left behind. Where are we talking about? Rivers, beaches, deserts, and I forgot to write it, but don't forget deltas. Okay, the fine grain material is the low energy environment. Pools. Out in the ocean or in a lake. Don't forget to pause or back up to look at this stuff again. What are some features of stream deposition? We have channel bars, we have point bars, deltas, braided streams. Channel bars or sandbars or gravel bars like we see in our rivers that just are out there in the middle of the channel. When you're rafting by, you can go either way, run side or the other. Point bars occur on the inside of a meander. Deltas occur at the mouth of the stream. And braided streams occur in high sediment load areas and have all these braided channels going every which way. You guys were able to make those in your stream tables. And the, the main key, then, is water must slow down to leave deposits. Whenever you get a deposit of sand or silt or clay, the water has slowed down. Thanks for watching.